Linda's still worried. The camera acts as a cop in the corner. Many teens do horrible things, it's hurtful to themselves and others. We're showing extreme examples, but parents want to know that their kids are not doing this or this. And today, technology makes that easier. This counter spy store is one of many that sell surveillance cameras. And these days, they are so small. And they sell more than cameras. If you're worried about where your kid is, you can get one of these GPS devices. Put it in his car, and then from your home computer or office computer, you can watch where he's going. And if you're worried about your kids sneaking out at night, you can buy this motion sensor. Warning, teens on the stairs. But it's the cameras that are the biggest sellers, and they put them in all kinds of things. This pen has a camera in it. This phone jack, this pencil sharpener, even this necktie. And stores tell us, increasingly, it's parents who are doing the buying. This is our smoke detector camera. Once it's up on a ceiling, you can't even tell it's a camera. I'm looking dead on the camera right now. We have one that we have up in the Carlos season. Arango and Dave Buell run a store they call the Spy Outlet. We're just trying to help the parents out. The hidden cameras confirm some parents' worst fears. In this case, a daughter stealing money from a parent's wallet, looking around to make sure no one's watching. These girls were caught taking liquor out of a kitchen cabinet, then drinking, watching to make sure no adult is coming, and then drinking more, so much that one gets sick on the floor. Making a tape like this and confronting your kids with it, hear the girls stealing again, may be what it takes to get everyone to admit there's a problem and move towards solving it, says the man who sells the cameras. If you're going to be putting in cameras or anything to, to, to monitor your children, you're doing it because you love them. You, you want to make sure that they're, they're on the straight and narrow. But the reality is that spying can lead to trouble. Psychologist Dr. Neil Bernstein, author of How to Keep Your Teenager Out of Trouble, has treated hundreds of teens and their families. I understand why parents spy. Once your kid is a teenager, nasty stuff happens. All spying does is tell a kid that the reason for doing the right thing is because you're being watched. That doesn't instill any values. Yes, it does, says Luis Gonzalez and Patricia Casino. They spy on their kids and say it'll help keep them safe. We do feel a little bit badly because we took a little bit of their privacy. They work two jobs and worry about leaving their kids home alone. So they bought a $70 black and white camera and hid it behind this wall hanging. We put it in here. We got a little camera pointing right at the living room. Now we got a perfect shot. What they often saw was not much. Kids doing homework, watching TV. But then, February, the camera captured a spin-the-bottle party. Their kids, 12-year-old Cynthia and 11-year-old Jesse, hosted friends ranging in age from 9 to 13. It's not the spin the bottle I knew as a kid. In this game, if the bottle points to you, the spinner decides what you have to do. Maybe take off your shirt or do a little dance. This is Jesse. Or this spin of the bottle directs this boy to take a swig from a bottle of beer. Then Jesse lost and drank. What really surprised me the most was seeing my son grabbing the beer and drinking it. Drinking and then kissing this little girl and dancing and acting all weird. I never imagined that they could do something like that at home. And when she was on the phone with them, in fact, the tape shows Cynthia getting the unexpected phone call from mom saying she was on the way home. Cynthia tells the kids and they scramble. Quickly, they put their shirts back on, tidy up the living room and hide the beer. So what's a parent to do now? Luis and Patricia confronted the kids in a family meeting at the spice shop. Hi, I'm Carlos. They had told the kids they were going to look at some cameras. This is a camera? There you go. Yeah. I want this for my birthday. <laughs> then they went to the back of the store to watch a sample video, which the kids had no idea was about them. Oh my God. Is that you? No. And your friends? No. Oh, Both say, there. nope, that's not me. It's not me at all. No, that's not you. But within a minute, they confessed. Mm -hmm. We're just playing. That's how I find out you guys were doing Friends, drinking. Oh, my God. That's you, Jesse, That's right? you, just you. This was what really, really... Hurts your mother. Hurt me and, and your mom. And but this is a big deal. They really want smoking at the house. It really makes me so angry. 
Sorry, Mommy. Sorry. Charlie? Disobeying you. The kids are contrite, say they'll never do it again. I was disgusted by my own behavior. Cynthia even gave us a lecture about cigarettes. It's a disgusting habit because you can get a lot of things by smoking, like growing hair on your tongue. Grow hair on your tongue? And if you shave it, it'll grow three times thicker. The kids now say their parents' spying was a good thing. What we did was wrong, and hopefully those people that see this video will want to buy their surveillance cameras. Are you believing this? Me neither. We showed our tape to several older teens who'd been snooped on by their parents. I'm, I'm actually really, really happy and glad that she actually videotaped us. <laughs> You're a liar. <laughs> He's a liar. They'll do it again. Why would he lie to us? Because they're kids. They don't want to embarrass their family. They have to say those things. Ariel Astrakhan's four years older and quick to say she thinks her dad spying on her is wrong. I can see everything. He doesn't use a camera, but he installed a computer program that lets him read everything his daughter reads or says on the Internet. You can either play through it rapidly and look for something, or you can go through frame by frame. At least for Ariel, it wasn't a secret. He told me about it. What'd you think? My life is over. <laughs> I was going to kill him. I was so angry. They still have battles about it. Certain boys, they want to see pictures of her. Boys are writing... Send me a sexy picture. So my plan is, I'm going to send a picture of me in a bathing suit. Dad, this is tough. <laughs> Why? I think it would be hilarious. Hi, this is Darielle's dad. I read everything you write. How do your friends react, knowing your dad is reading your emails? They just think he has no life and he's psychotic. And I'm like, well, you know, he's a really nice guy. You warn them all that... David is sure he's dad. doing the right thing, protecting his daughter. If you think to yourself, gee, what if my father saw me doing this? What, would that change what you do? And I think it does, and it has. Spying sucks. 18-year-old John McDevitt discovered his father was using the same program. How'd you find out? A friend of mine came to me and showed me the Wall Street Journal. I was like, is that your dad? And I was like, why is my dad talking about me in the Wall Street Journal? And then I was like, why is my dad looking at my internet history? There are plenty of reasons to spy, says his dad. You really have to watch what's going on in your house, or things can get out of control quickly. 17-year-old Ashley Keeler's dad put one of those GPS devices in Ashley's Jeep. Started out... Uh, and by logging onto his computer, he can tell how fast Ashley's driving and where she's driving. I just wish he would have told me about it. He caught her speeding and lying about where she went. She was grounded for that. Hope you're saving John me. was just lectured by his dad. But what was really accomplished? There's just a lack of respect now. The only thing that my parents have achieved is that I don't talk to them and I'm never home. Ashley's dad says there's been no loss of trust. I don't think it had any effect uh, negatively on, on family trust. You'd have to ask her. Ashley says it has had a bad effect. My parents don't trust me now, but they lied to me also, so I don't trust them as much. It's a reason that every teen expert we consulted told us spying is a bad idea. This morning she left for school at 8.15 and arrived... But then how do we parents find out what our kids are doing? Ask them, for goodness sakes. If you him. have a relationship, he may not lie to you. Call other parents, talk to friends, talk to teachers, talk to the school. These kids agree. Kids. Don't spy, just talk to us. Can you learn as much by talking? Yeah. But you might lie. So? When you were younger, your parents didn't do that to you. They didn't have this technology. And I lied to them. Exactly. So why can't we just continue that? You're, I mean, I think you turned out fine. So. Remains to be seen. Most teenagers, every now and then, will dabble in something illicit on the way to adulthood. Let it go. Linda Puzino doesn't feel she can take that chance and says having a camera up showed her that Derek needs to focus more on his homework. You're spying on your kid. This is going to wreck your relationship with him. Not if it's handled the right way. I am a single mom, and I need all the help that I can get at this point. Linda at least told Derek about the camera. Do you ever want to just hang something over the camera? I, I do when I'm, I'm mm. getting dressed or like when I, I just feel like being left alone. In this case, he covers it with a hat. If his mom thinks the hat's on too long, she'll intervene. This time, she was just in the next room. Derek! Derek! 
I understand the fact that she wants to make sure I'm safe, wants to make sure I'm home, and, you know, wants to keep a close eye on me. He is very understanding, but he didn't realize how long the camera was going to stay. How long is it going to be there? I'm at 13 now, so I would start to think by mm -hmm. next year or so it would go away. Is that right, Mom? <laughs> um, <clears throat> I don't know. I'm considering more cameras, so I can't make any promises. So, so when does the camera leave? Um, the camera will be in place probably as long as Derek is with me. Maybe till he's married. 